Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be starting with ICC 10 Geography Maps and uh, questions will be given to you. You can take up a physical map and try to answer these questions, label them in your map and then I'll tell you the answers. I have also launched some ebooks for class 10th ICC board. This is most important question bank of physics for ICC 10th and it includes all the important questions that are likely to come in your board examination. You can buy these ebooks from the link in the description box. Other ebooks include ICSE 10 Chemistry All Reactions ebook and then score 90 plus strategy ebook. I have placed every link in the description box. Go and check it out. Now you can see standard meridian. This is uh, 82 degree 30 dash east. Okay, so this is the standard meridian. Then second is label uh, the river Yamuna. River Yamuna is this river. You can see. And then shade and name the Gulf of Kambat. It is here. This region. Then Nathula Pass. It is here. Okay. Then we have Karakoram Range. Karakoram Range is here. Okay. Then uh, shade and name a sparsely populated state in Northeast India. So here we have shaded Arunanjal Pradesh. Next question is, uh, shade a region with laterite soil in eastern India. So, uh, so I shaded this region and it has laterite soil. They will be asking you other soils as well, like alluvial and uh, red soil. So, you will have to learn all of them. Then we have south uh, monsoon winds, right? Sorry, we have skipped this. Mark with a dot and name Vishakapatnam. So here, this is Vishakapatnam. Then we have mark and name the winds that bring rain to West Bengal in summer. So South uh, West Monsoon winds are the winds that bring rain to West Bengal. So these arrows denote answer number I. Then print S on the iron mines in Singham. So this is S. Mark and name Chennai. As you know that this part uh, is uh, Tamil Nadu. And here it is Kerala. I am drawing this rough diagram. Chennai is here. Okay. Now you have to label these uh, in map. Pause the video. Label these uh, things. You can see this is river Godavari. Right. Then second part is uh, shade and label the Chota Nagpur Plateau. So this is Chota Nagpur Plateau. You can see this part. Then we have uh, Gulf of Kutch. This is Gulf of Kutch. Then mark the Indo-Gangetic Plains. These are the Indo-Gangetic Plains. Okay. This part dot dot. See, right? Then we have shade and label an area with red soil. The lines denote red soil. These are the areas. Mark and name the winds which bring rain to Mumbai in July and August. So this is Arabian Sea current. You can see this is Arabian Sea. Okay, and here it is Bay of Bengal. And here it is Indian Ocean. You are aware about it. So this is Arabian Sea Current. Then name the Satpura Range. This is Satpura Range. You know about Vindhyas and Satpura. So Satpura is here. Okay. Then uh, mark the uh, mark and name the Jharia Coal Field. This is Jharia Coal Field, right? Shade and label the Northern Sirkar Coastal Region. So. This is the Northern Sirkar region. This region. Next set of questions are there. Pause the video. A uh, topic of cancer is here. And uh, you have to mention the latitude as well. 23 and a half degree north. Then we have labeled the river Narmada. This is Narmada. 
you can see then shade and name lake chilka so this is chilka lake okay this part this tiny part mark and name the aravalli mountains this is aravalli you can see i'll just use a highlighter so that you can figure it out then we have uh, yes next question is mark and name the karakoram uh, pass so this is karakoram pass right then shade and name a densely populated state in south india so this is kerala okay then uh, shade and name a region with black soil so black soil is here this part is black soil then mark and uh, mark with a dot and name shrinagar this is shrinagar you can see the arrow this dot part mark and name the winds which bring rain in winter to the koromandal coast so you can see northeast monsoon these are the winds which bring uh, rain in winter to the koromandal coast then uh, name and print o on an oil field in northeast india so dig boy it is an oil field in india in northeast india right mark and name kochi river krishna so you can see that uh, every year they will ask you river the soil uh, that is uh, like the area you have to shade the area and then they may ask you the winds that are bringing rain to a particular part right then coal field densely populated areas and then uh, some passes like karakoram pass gilgit pass and so on right chota nagpur plateau malwa plateau and so on uh so mark and name kochi kochi if uh, this is here so it is somewhere here here okay kochi then uh, we have river krishna so river krishna this is river krishna then shade and uh, label the malwa plateau this is uh, malwa plateau then konkan coast so it is here this part wait a second i'll just highlight then we have malwa plateau right this part um shade and label an alluvial soil area in peninsular india so this is the part then uh, mark with arrows the direction of arabian sea branch so you can see or south uh, west monsoon they have given you two options shade and label the western ghats so western ghats these are the western ghats okay mark the jharia coal field this is jharia coal field this dot shade and name a densely populated area so they have uh, marked this part which is west bengal um again i have given you some questions and the answer is provided try to do this question yourself and tell me what was your score so i provided you with this map of lakes gulf and rivers just have a look you can learn these rivers uh, with the help of mnemonic or maybe some tricks you can see yamuna ganga gomti ghagra gandak you can make a story out of it i usually make stories and in the form of mnemonics i learn these things they might be very weird like uh, i usually take these as sisters so these are all sister mahanadi godavari krishna kaveri and you can see krishna is the name of uh, god so like that you can just learn right thank you for watching this video i will also be updating you with other questions and maps of geography uh maybe we will go ahead with topo sheet if you uh, want me to make a video then comment um suggestions for other subjects are also welcomed have a good day